Okay, here is one more uh, numerical on projectile motion. Right? Uh, golf ball hit from the ground reaches the maximum height and then lands on a fairway 6.5 meter above the ground. So it will look something like this. Let us say this is the ground level. The ball is hit from the ground level. It goes to a height and then falls onto a fairway which is 6.5 meter from the ground. Find the maximum height reached at the time of flight. Right? So it's starting from here, let us call this point A, this is the maximum height point B and point C. Right? And we've been asked to find out the maximum height reached. Let us, this is the maximum height reached. Right? And we'll call this H1. And the time of flight, time of flight meaning time to move from A to B to C. Right? And the initial velocity is given as 47 meters per second. So I can write down U is 47 meters per second and the angle is theta is 22 degree. Also, the sec find the height and velocity after 3 seconds. Right? So this is part 2. We will treat this as part 2 and this is part 1. Right? So part 2 I will do in a, in a separate video uh, because the video might become too long. Uh, in this video, first part of the video, we will try to get an answer to the first part. That is find out the maximum height and the time of flight. Right? Okay, so u is 47 meters per second given initial velocity theta is 22 degree. So I can show it over here 47 meters per second. This is 22 degree. Now let us get first uh, the base. Whenever you are doing a numerical on projectile motion, it's always a good idea to first get the horizontal and the vertical components of velocity u cos theta. That would be 47 cos 22. And to save time, I have already done these calculations. This will come out to be 43.5 meters per second. Similarly, the vertical component will be u sin theta and this will come out to be, for, this is 47, 7, 22, this will give me 17.6 meters per second. Okay, let the first question, find the maximum height reached, the maximum height reached H1, uh, right, we know the equation for H1, right, H1 is equal to u square sin square theta by 2g. Now we know u sin theta is 17.6 meters per second, so this is 17.6 square upon 2 into 9.8, right? and if I solve this, I'll get 15.8 meter. Right? So this is height h1, right? The maximum height to which it has uh, reached over here. So I have got an answer to this question: maximum height reach. The second part is to time of flight, right? Okay. We know that the for the when we want to find out the Time of flight, right? Whenever you are looking at time, time of flight, the formula that we have for time of flight is t is equal to 2u sin theta by g. This is the general formula for time of flight in projectile motion. But this time gives the time to start from a to b to c and go back to the same height. Right? So this formula gives us this particular time. Whereas in our case, the ball is going up to the maximum height and then the journey is ending over here. So the time required would be less than this. So what we will do is we will look at this journey from A to B to C in two parts. The first part of the journey AB and the second part would be BC. And we will find out the time required to, for the ball to move from A to B separately and then find out time required for the ball to move from B to C separately. So first let us focus on time for the, on the journey AB and let us call this time t1. This time t1 to move from a to b would be half of the total flight time t u, t u sin theta by g. Right? So we can find out t1 by u sin theta by g. Right? And if I find out, if I put those, if I plug in those values t u uh, t1 sin theta by g, I'll get 1.79 seconds. u sin theta is 17.6, g is 9.8. So this will give me 1.79 seconds. So I have the time to move from A to B. Now I am required to find out the time to move from B to C. Right? Now, this height H1 we have found out is 15.8 uh, meter and this is 16.5 meters. So this particular height, this let us call this H2. Right? H2 would be 15.8 minus 6.5 and if I find out that if I do simple calculation, I get 9.3 meter. So H2, this height is 9.3 meter. So I know the height. When the ball moves from B to C, its horizontal component is not changing. That means acceleration in the horizontal direction is zero. The acceleration is only in the vertical direction. So I can use H2 is equal to half 
gt square and I call this t2 square. So the time required for the ball to move from B to C in the vertical direction h2 is equal to half gt square. h2 is known to me 9.3 is equal to half into 9.8 into t2 square and this will give me a value of t2 as the value of t2 will come out to be 1.377 seconds. So I have now obtained the time required from to move from B to C and therefore the total flight time T is equal to 1.79 plus 1.377 that would give me is equal to 3.173 seconds and therefore I can write down here T is equal to 3.173 seconds so this was the answer that we were looking for, the other answer that we were looking for was H1, 15.8 meter. Right? So we have obtained the solution to part A, find the maximum height reached and the time of flight if the initial velocity is 47 meters per second at an angle of 22 degree. So having obtained both these two values, uh, what I will do is I will stop over here and in the next video we will look at the second part, find the height and velocity after 3 seconds. Thank you.